a shalom makium. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to y'all by Shemel Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Striving for the whole full leg, enduring all afflictions, and seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, Barakatam, Akim. Alright, it's coming back with another video tonight. Um, I want to do a little, uh, you know, review over this uh, movie I had uh, w uh, watched the other day. It's called Breakthrough, right here you see on the screen. And it's a, you know, a Christian uh, type movie. But uh, what inspired me about it was... Um, uh in this in this movie uh as you see the little boy uh right there uh he uh was faced with death you know he fell through a sheet of ice and uh according to the uh it's based off a true story you know um that he was uh, under submerged under this cold water for like 20 minutes basically he drowned he was basically dead and uh uh you know he was actually, uh, he was an adopted child. Uh, of course, you know, that woman, she appears to be an Edomite. And she he, he was taken under their wing uh, by way of adoption. And he was actually, uh, what does it say, a Guatemalan? Okay, so he's an Israelite. Okay, right here you see Breakthrough, the Wikipedia. Uh, says John Smith, Ruiz is a 14-year-old Guatemalan boy raised in a... Uh, uh, late St. Louis, Missouri, by his adoptive parents. Okay, and uh, you know it just inspired me because um, the scriptures talk about Yahweh Shai, you know, having the power to bring the dead back to life. Okay, and there's several accounts, and I'm gonna bring out a couple, and uh, just go through it, you know. And it's all about having faith, and basically in this movie, that's what they show. You know, what I'm saying just. You know, you, you cry out to Yahweh Shem Shai, you know, and in, in the time of need, he, he's always going to come, you know, and Lord willing, he comes and he he aids us and through that, uh, that trial, that tribulation, that persecution, whatever it may be, you know, he sends an angel to um, comfort you, you know, whatever it is, a sign, a, uh, an individual giving us a word of hope, you know, or, you know, that miracle where, you, you know, it's like the apostles when they're imprisoned. You know, they were captured and put in jail or prison and they, they were miraculously re uh, released by way of an angel. Okay. So, um, you know, you brothers can check it out. Y'all brothers, you know, you don't have to, you know, but uh, I want to start off with Hebrews 11. And uh, uh, I'll start at verse 6. Or I'll start at verse 1. 11 and Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the Most High, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. Yahweh testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because the Most High had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that it pleased the Most High. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he cannot. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay, so that's, that's the... Um, the, the foundation, part of the foundation that we have to have is faith, all right? Be, Yahweh Shai being the chief cornerstone, okay? And the rest being built upon the, the law, statutes, commandments, you know, the, the writings of Yahweh Shai, which is compiled in the book, okay? In order for us to receive these these blessings, these, these miracles, these gifts, we have to believe, man. We have to have faith. Now, I'm before I go into some of the examples, I want to go over here to the book. Let's see. In the book of James, chapter 1. And uh, uh, verse 5, it says, 
If any man, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it should be given him. But let him ask in faith, not nothing wavering, right? The word wavering goes back to the word doubt. Don't doubt, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let no man that, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Okay, so you have to ask in faith and just hope and wait upon Yahweh Shimon Moshai, you know, and not just ask one time. You got to be, you got to have a force, all right? And like in the movie, you'll see if brothers, you know, you care to watch it, you'll see that woman, Um, you know, she didn't just ask with a soft voice. She didn't, she was, you know, you know, crying out and, uh, you know, this, like I said, it's based on a true story, but we know like, you know, whether, whether it be, you know, we all, we all know that Yahweh Shemel Shai is in all and works through all, you know what I'm saying? Like, but we know that the Yahweh Shai is primarily there for the elect, you know, um, the, uh, the Negro Latinos, the Native American Indians and the confusion of face that know, not know, not know who they are as a people. But may appear as looking as the other nations, which brings a, a shameful, a shamefulness to your, to one, okay. But as I said, you know the he's a Guatemalan, which is a you know he's a Hebrew is like you know pretty much from the tribe of Zebulon, uh, and then also in the movie, uh, you had a, you have a Jake, the Jake in there, he was a, you know the tribe of you know the Southern Kingdom, which uh, he was considered like a, a non-believer, he didn't believe in the Most High. But, you know, he heard a voice. So it was like two two things that w were working. You know, it was it was bringing somebody to the realization of the Most High. And then, um, you know, just like we know how, you know, in the, in, the, in the young boy was healed. You know, he was brought from death. Like we know here in this in the story. And uh, John, let me see where it is real quick. Let me find it. This is John chapter 9, verse 1. And as Yahweh had passed by, he saw a man which had, which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Yahweh answered, Neither hath this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of the Most High should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is, while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had uh, spoke, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and the eye, and he anointed the eyes of the man with the clay, and said unto him, Go wash the wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way therefore and washed and came seeing. Okay, so Yahweh shot healed this man, but this man wasn't didn't receive this uh sight this uh defect of his of his uh sight by way of sin it was it was set up to the spirit that this man was gonna um be in this this particular time frame when Yahweh Shai came through just to, to to be healed and people to see the power okay of that healing through Yahweh Shai and believers that saw they believed now you had some people that didn't believe because when you read the account people mocked and scoffed and you know, they, they called Yahweh Shai, you know, Beelzebub, uh, you know, the Lord of Flies, you know, Satan, the devil, a madman, etc. Okay. So um let's get into a few um which is two this is one account, but I'm gonna get it in two separate uh areas in the book of Mark. And uh, let me see. Mark chapter five and verse um see it's lucky I'm sorry um oh so, uh mark five and thirty five while he yet spake there came from the ruler of the synagogues how certain which said thy daughter is dead, why troublest thou the master any more any further? As soon as Yahweh heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Okay, so we always have to remember to believe, to have faith in Yahweh 
Okay? It says, And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter, James, John, the brother of James. So you had the three brothers, the three apostles that were with Yahweh Shai. They accompanied him there in this miracle, this act. And he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and seeth the tumult, and them that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he saith unto them, Why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn, but he had put them all out. He taketh the father and the mother of the damsel and, and them that were with him and entered in where the damsel was laying. So you had these these non-believers, you know, scoffing and mocking right then and there, you know. And it says, and he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, uh, Talitha kumi, which is being interpreted damsel, I say unto thee, arise. And straightway the damsel arose and walked, for she was of age of twelve years. And they were astonished with the great astonishment. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it, and commanded that something should be given her to eat. Okay, so when you think, when we read this account, we think that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it was simple, it, you know, and, and the eyes. We didn't know. We don't know what what goes on. You know what I'm saying? Like when someone gives up the ghost, like even Lazarus, and he was in the, t in, the in the tomb. Was it for three days already? He was already dead for three days. So the body will start. The body is eventually at the the state of uh you know rigor mortis, if I'm pronouncing that properly, and then you know the 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 brain the organs start to to die, you know they or if not they already die. So in the state of this little boy. You know, he, he, they were saying that, you know, his lungs were full of blood. Like he was, he was, even if he did survive, he, when he came back, when his heartbeat kicked in, that he would be like, basically, um, like re brain dead, you know, he would have no, he would not be functioning like we do, you know. And uh, as the time progressed, the, the, everything started regenerating back to its prop to his original state he was becoming whole which is a, a miracle so in that state of these individuals that we account or we read about we don't consider how powerful it is because we we consider we sit here and we know that it's powerful it's great it's a great act but to to know and to 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 really think and to hear and to know what the body goes through once you stop breathing, you know, if you, you lose oxygen to the brain for a short period of time, you you receive brain damage, okay? But this girl, she didn't receive that. You know, Lazarus was received whole. This this little boy, you know, if the, if the, if the account is true, you know, whether, you know, we know who it was ultimately that, that, that allowed this to happen, you know? And like we know... That in the day of the Lord's power, the people shall be willing. So when they start seeing it, you know, this little individual, this individual, you know, boy, he may, he may be part, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you never know. But it's going to take that, that time and this miracle that happened unto him to realize that Yahweh was always the one that had done it. Okay. And, uh, you know, I'm just speaking as a man, I'm not speaking, you know, as anything else, just, you know, just thinking about things. Okay. Um. So let me see here And this is the same account But I'm going to get it in Luke chapter 9 Verse 48 It says While he yet spake there cometh one From, from the ruler of the synagogue's house Saying to him thy daughter is dead Trouble not the master But when Shai heard it He answered him saying Fear not believe only And she shall be made whole And the word whole goes back to the word healthy alive okay and when he came into the house he suffered no man to go in save peter james and john and the father and the mother of the maiden you know the young little 12 year old girl and all wept and bewailed her but he said weep not she is not dead but sleepeth and they laughed him to scorn knowing that she was dead and and he put them all out and took her by the hand and called, saying, Maid, arise. And her spirit came again. 
And she arose straightway, and she commanded to give her meat. And her parents were astonished, but he charged them that they should tell no man uh, what was done. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here to the book of 1 Kings chapter 17. And I'm going to start at verse 17. And it came to pass after these things that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, fell sick. And his sickness and and his sickness was sore, was so sore that there was no breath left in him. Right? I'm going to read that again. First Kings 17 and 17. And it came to pass after these things that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, fell sick. And his sickness was so sore that there was no breath left in him. So this is the time of, the, of Elijah. And a woman had her son, right? And he fell sick. And it says in verse 18, And she said unto Elijah, What have I to do with thee, O thou man of the Most High? Art thou come unto me to, carry, to call my sin to remembrance and to slay my son? And he said unto her, Give me thy son. And he took him out of her bosom and carried him up into a loft where he abode and laid him upon his own bed and he cried unto the Lord see and yeah, Elijah look what he did he said he cried he yelled you know he he was with 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 anguish you know of spirit you know you know beseeching Yahweh 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 Shai okay and he cried unto the Lord and said O Lord Yahweh my power Hast thou also brought evil upon the widow with whom I sojourn by slaying her son? And he stretched himself upon the child three times and cried unto Yahweh and said, O Yahweh, my power, I pray thee, let this children's soul come into him again. And the Lord and the Lord Yahweh heard the voice of Elijah. So, so he has to hear us, you know, and we know who he only hears. He hears the elect. Okay, and so it says, and the soul of the child came into him again, and he revived. He was made alive. And Elijah took the child and brought him down out of the chamber into the house and delivered him unto his mother. And Elijah said, See, thy son liveth. And the woman said to Elijah, Now by this I know that thou art a man of the Most High, and that the word of the Lord in thy mouth is truth. See, and so by that act, you know, it she became a believer, you know, and, you know, some people are going to need that, you know, some people are going to have to have that sign, you know, that miracle and others are going to be believe by way of hearing the word, you know, most high works and however he needs to work, you know, and it's not up to us to say or, or not to say it's what's written and that's just what it is, you know. But we have to believe in these things and these things are real, you know, and it's just we just have to hope, you know, and that even if something does happen that we don't expect or we have to continue to fight. We have to continue to believe and keep our integrity, you know, just like the time of Job, you know, he lost everything. His children died and his wife left them, you know, and. He was brought to a low place where he pr pretty much nobody wanted to be around him, you know. So I just wanted to bring this out with you, brothers. It, it inspired me to go into, uh, you know, these miracles that Yahweh Shai performed on those that had perished or dead, you know. And um, Yahweh Shai showed them, was showing us how just to have faith and believe in him and to call up and, on, and ask him, you know, and he'll work. A work in our days that you know we 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 will not believe because we're like man you know what I'm saying like this actually happened but then eventually you will believe you will believe that act. okay so uh, I hope it was edifying to you brothers you know what I'm saying it's just we all have to stay strong man you know mentally no matter what we see what we come across we always have to stay mentally strong you know so with that shalom.